feeling overwhelmed. That is a regular response I get when I ask business owners how they're doing with their social media. Um, and look, I totally get it. I have to say the first few years I was in the online space, I felt pretty overwhelmed too when it came to social media. Um, it can be really draining, but honestly, it doesn't have to be. Hi, I'm Alison Vidotto from PUSH Business Training and Mentoring. And today I want to share some really good tips with you to help remove the overwhelm from your social media. I'm going to share five tips. So tip number one, the biggest mistake that I see business owners make when it comes to social media is trying to be in all the places for all of the people. Um, and I'll always advise them, you know, choose one platform, talk to your ideal client avatar, find out where they like to hang out online and focus on that one platform and do that until you're really comfortable with that platform, you've mastered it, then look at the next one. You know, you can be right across all the platforms, but you need to master those first few before you can do that. So number one, focus on one platform. Tip number two, and look, I could say they're all the biggest, the biggest tip because this one seriously will reduce stress and increase your productivity big time. And that is when you create a content calendar. You know, it will just take so much stress away. Those lost hours, you know, what do I post? Where do I post? When do I post? Is that image any good? Oh, is that the topic that I want? When you map out a content calendar for at least a month, I like to do three months, and you've got it outlined what you're going to post, where you're going to post it. Seriously, it's just a nice, smooth system. And you can do that, just block out a chunk of time. You know, come up with half a dozen major categories for your ideal client. So we can all do that. You know, if I was to talk about entrepreneurs and social media, then I'm going to look at, you know, the avatar and then I'm going to look at the platforms they're on and how they create content. Do they pay for advertising? How do they get their traffic? So I've already got five categories just there. So come up with five or six categories that suit your ideal client that are part of the problems they have, the solutions you have. And then for each of those main categories, come up with six or eight or 10, you know, pain points, solutions, interesting facts, entertaining facts. When you sit down and do it, it's actually not that difficult at all. And suddenly, you know, if you do that, you suddenly got 60 pieces of content that you can, you can share. So do a content calendar. And of course, once you do do that, you get to tip number three, and that is don't go it alone. So once you've got your content calendar, hand it off to a VA. You can get really inexpensive uh, VA services, you know, that are offshore. And you've got your content calendar mapped out. They will take that, they'll create the image, They'll schedule it, they'll post it. It takes all the pain out of it. It's all happening without you. So you can be working on growing your business. One of the best things you can do. And the other thing is, if you're not in the position right now, because you will be, but not right now, to actually take on other team members, utilize the tools that are out there. And a lot of them are free. So you can pre-schedule um, and you can pre-schedule inside the platform. So I like to schedule my posts inside of Facebook, but I also use Meet Edgar, which is a paid service, and we pre-schedule all of our posts on other platforms. So there are lots of things that you can do out there that are free, so use them. Don't go it alone. You don't need to be on your own for this. Uh, number four, another real biggie. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they're all big, you know, but this is a real biggie. Um, I've done a number of workshops on this and it's, you know, people are always blown away and I'm always blown away because so many business owners are creating amazing content and they're posting it once or twice and then that's the end of it, which is crazy. You've got, you know, the content you're creating is great. I'm pretty sure most of it's very, very good. You're not creating it to post it once or twice. 
And so often I'll say to business owners, okay, great blog article. What's happened with that? Oh, I put it on my website. Then what did you do? I shared it on social media. And then what did you do? I started to write another one. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can get so much mileage out of your content. Now, this video, um, it's going to be called something like five ways to avoid overwhelm for social media. There is a blog article on my website with the same name. So I will write a blog article. I will send that in an email. I will then make a video like this. We'll take little quotes and create nice images to put across Facebook and you know, Instagram. We'll take out four or six main points and create an infographic and put that on Pinterest. So you can get so much mileage out of it. And then you put it in your social media schedule and you keep posting it. It's not meant to be posted just once or twice. And honestly, there is so much coming of people on social media. They are not going to notice. Oh, I think she posted that a month ago. That's not going to happen. So repurpose, repurpose. Like I said, at least, at least six, if not 10 or 12 pieces from each of your blog articles, or if you begin with a video. That first quality piece of content, you need to be getting at least six different, minimum six. Okay, tip number five, we're nearly done. Take a break. You know, when you feel overwhelmed, the best thing you can do is to take a break. And I have a wonderful uh, mentor that I work with. And one of the things she's helped me with is to come up with an indoctrination that I write each day in my monk manual. Every morning I write it out and that is self-care is an investment in my business. And it really is. And it is in yours too. So when you feel overwhelmed, take a break. And look, especially if you've pre-scheduled your post, nobody's going to notice that you're not there. So take that break. Go for a walk. Turn it off for a couple of days. You know, you'll come back and you will feel so much better for it. And of course, that's going to make you a lot more creative and innovative and productive. And so you're going to do much better for taking a break. OK, so five tips. Number one is stick to one platform until you master that. Number two, create a content calendar. I'm really resisting saying this is the biggest one because I want to say it with each of them. Number three don't go it alone. You're not meant to walk this path alone. We're all in the same boat in one way or another. So don't go it alone. Number four, repurpose. Get at least six pieces of content out of every piece you create. Number five, take a break. Look after yourself. You'll be glad you did. Okay. I hope those tips were helpful and if you like this sort of thing, please hit the subscribe button below. And also I'm going to put in the comments a link to a free social media checklist to help you with your social media. So I hope you're having an awesome week and an even better day. Take care. Bye-bye.